In this lesson, we'll model the load-bearing slab in the external pavement with the slab tool. First, let's create the interior slab. The walls will define the size and shape of the slab. Activate the slab tool. If you would like to skip to the next step, you can apply the ground floor slab favorite from the Lesson 03 Favorites folder. In the Slab Tool Settings dialog, select the Concrete Structural Building Material as a basic structure. Set the slab thickness to 200 and the elevation to Project 0 to minus 100. Please note that we won't be able to set the home story now because this dialog was opened in 3D but we can define the elevation parameter, which will be enough to create the slab element at the correct height. Set reference plane to top. Finally, apply the load bearing element and exterior tags and click OK. Select the rectangular geometry method in the info box. Now, hold down the space bar and move the cursor towards the bottom on the exterior side of the walls. This activates the magic wand feature that can recognize closed contours. Click when the blue dashed rectangle appears close to the bottom of the wall and the slab will be created immediately at the correct elevation. Naturally, slabs can always be placed on the floor plan view. Let's assume that the correct pavement composite settings are not available in the current project, but we already set the necessary composite in another project earlier. In this case, we can import existing attributes from other files. Let's see how this works. Activate the Options, Element Attributes, Attribute Manager, Menu Command. In the left-hand panel of the dialog, you can review all the attributes in one place, such as layers, materials, composites, etc. The check mark found next to an attribute tells you if it's currently in use in the project. In the right hand panel, you can open the attribute set of another project, browse through it, and add additional attributes to the current project. Open the Composites tab page of the dialog. Click on the Open button. Select the existing project PLN file in the Training Files folder. Then click Open to display the composites on the right side. Select Exterior Pavement and uncheck the All Associated Attributes checkbox so only the composite will be created while the fills and surfaces linked to it will not be duplicated. Click Append to add the composite in the current project. Click OK, then Create to confirm the changes.